one thing I want to show you guys this week is how not to have these sad, floppy pancakes. I have been on a quest for what's the secret magic to get those big, thick, fluffy pancakes, and it's actually really simple, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. The first thing we're gonna do is mix together our dry ingredients. So first, I got some flour, then a little sugar, a little salt. Here's where the first secret is. You actually should use two leavening agents. I have here both baking soda and baking powder, and these are what's called super basic. When you were a kid and you would make a volcano, um, you would mix acid, vinegar with base baking soda and it would make a sort of explosion, a volcano. And that's actually what we're gonna try to accomplish here. So I'm gonna put these two guys in. I'm gonna mix this up. It takes a two seconds. You just wanna make sure everything's combined. There we go. Leave that over here. Now we're gonna mix up our wet ingredients. So here's the other secret. Like I said, when you're making that volcano, you need an acid, which is the vinegar, and a base, which is the baking soda. For us, we're gonna use buttermilk, which causes the chemical leavening reaction. Into the buttermilk, I'm gonna put in two eggs, and then I'm gonna add vanilla. The other key is melted cooled butter. You don't want it to be hot and you're adding it to this cold buttermilk because then it will seize up. So you want it to be melted so that when you mix this all together, it's gonna to actually mix. And then we wanna really stir this up. All right, we're about done with that. Another secret to really fluffy pancakes, and even if you don't want fluffy pancakes, this is a secret for making pancakes, don't mix it a lot. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna pour this in here, and then you're gonna mix this. You're gonna just keep mixing it really gently. So now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna leave this here for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get these cooked up. Bye. So it's been 10 minutes and I am ready to get these pancakes started because they have a lot of energy. It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> My final secret to making pancakes that look really nice is don't put butter in your pan. That's gonna make it look all craggly and bumpy. If you don't put butter in your pan, you're gonna get that nice smooth pancake look and you're not gonna have to throw away the first pancake like people say. I like to make pretty big pancakes, but I also like to use an ice cream scoop or a quarter cup scoop or some kind of scoop so that they're kind of equal in size. And I said, this batter is like kind of thick, so I want it to be round, so I'm just gonna make it round. You can do whatever you want. It's your pancake. You can make it a letter, star, silver dollar ones, just use a small scoop. You wanna make big ones like this, use a scoop twice. You can have four pancakes that are the size of a quarter of this one, and then you've got the same amount of pancake. Pancake math, it's very complicated. Four pancakes equals one pancake, but they're all good. And then I'm just gonna leave it to cook for two minutes, three minutes, until it's dry around the edges. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to flip this one. I think we're good. I don't know if you can like see this, but it's you can see that this is really thick. So now my pancake's done. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna start making more. If you're gonna make a lot of pancakes, you could put your oven on super, super low and put them on a sheet tray and put them in there to stay warm. And then the best thing that I find about a Sunday morning is that this first pancake is your pancake. I always just keep a little tiny bowl of maple syrup right next to me and dip this in and then eat it. Yeah. Hmm. This guy is really, really good. Look how sad this original stack of pancakes now looks against these giant monsters that I made. And it really came down to a couple simple tricks and it's gonna look this delicious. I can't wait for you guys to try them at home. If you like breakfast food, check out more One Thing videos.